Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and today we're going to be doing something that I literally thought of just five minutes ago. That was, that was ten. So today we're going to be checking out Stone Brewing's Choco Vesa, their Mexican hot chocolate inspired imperial stout. Now I'm not the first person to review this and I probably won't be the last. But the good people over at Stone actually did something pretty awesome for me. They sent a couple of these over to me and they came with, well, some goodies. So we have the coffee it was brewed with and the chocolate it has. Well, I know what you're probably thinking. He's just probably gonna talk about how the beer tastes and maybe drink the coffee with it and compliment the notes. Ha <laughs> ha, I have you wrong. No, I got something special. I just thought of this. We're gonna take the coffee and we're gonna heat this beer up and brew the coffee with the beer and the chocolate. Let's see what that can do. But first, this beer comes in at an 8.1% ABV, a 50 IBUs. It gets an average rating on untapped of 4.08. This insanely delicious take on a Mexican hot chocolate is crafted with cocoa, coffee, peppers, vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg. So what I got here is the Boiling Hot Choco Vesa beer. The coffee that they sent over that it was brewed with, the chocolate. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brew the coffee with this boiling hot beer, and then I'm gonna add the chocolate in as I drink it. Let's check it out. Well, I'll tell you what, right away, uh, 12 ounces of beer do not make 12 ounces of coffee. But it does smell very pleasant. It is steamy hot. I'm looking forward to trying it. Whoa. Whoa, that's sour. Um, that's a little off-putting. Okay. I've had hot beer before, and uh, that's, uh, that's interesting. Let's see if the chocolate kind of sweetens it up a bit. Oh, that's actually good chocolate. Mm, I like a berryness to that chocolate. It's good. Chocolatey, nice. It almost gives it a berry flavor, but there's no fruit in it. Mm. Now, the Choco Vesa is a very sweet beer. It has this very chocolatey flavor. It's a milk stout. It's got a little peppery kick to it, but not much. You probably wouldn't even recognize that there's peppers in it. There is cinnamon in it, and you do recognize that there's cinnamon in the beer. I am not getting any of that in this coffee. In fact, it's very off-putting and tastes horrible. It has a sour note to it, but it kind of almost reminds me of like a super, super bitter chocolate to where it's so bitter it's sour. It tastes like that. But as I actually have a piece of chocolate and the coffee. Oh, that works well. Better together. I wouldn't say it works well. Yeah. I don't recommend doing this. <laughs> but hey. So the aroma is kind of like um an old sponge that's made out of leather. I don't know, it's very, very complex, very earthy notes, and then there's this sour pungency that just comes in and kicks you. Uh, yeah. Now, this was never designed to do any of this, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh yeah, this isn't good at all. But it definitely looks like coffee. I do like the color. Uh, it's very nice. All the cinnamon flavor's gone. A stout brewed with chocolate, coffee, peppers, vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And then I turned it into coffee. 
So if you're in the market for a really good imperial stout with some really good flavors, chocolate, cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, all those really good ones, that's not barrel aged and probably not going to break your bank, you know, $2 a can. Check out Stone's Choco Vesa. Don't, however, heat it up and turn it into coffee. Pro tip. I'm chocks. Gotcha. Linkers. See you guys later. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Untaps, Twitter, Facebook, all the big social media stuff. The links for those will be down there. Um, tell me, have you ever heated any of these beers up? If you have, let me know in the comments below what you thought of them. Maybe a recipe or two. Maybe have me try something. Yeah. See you guys later.